Hello everybody, my name is GandyKajou1122 and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. Last time, we left Cinnabar Island with Bill to go to, well, one island. And then we went to two island and we found that there's some stuff going on in three island. This time, we're going to be heading down to three island as everything that we need to do at the immediate moment seems to be revolving around three island. Ahoy there, where do you want to sail? We're going to go to three island. And we're going to see everything that there is to do here. Now, if you thought that the first two islands were underwhelming, do not worry. This island's gonna be bringing a lot of really cool stuff to us, and there's gonna be a, quite a bit of meat and potatoes to this one, so just hang on tight. Hey, hey, lady, four covers and spending money. As we see, we can have, we have gangsters here. Ay! Who are you? I I'll call the police. So this guy is harassing this lady. I've messed up his path, though. We're the Kanto Rider Federation. Vroom, 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 vroom. My bike's whippy, so I have to make exhaust doors of myself. Oh, that's really cute, actually. Next thing I want to do, I want to go in here. I want to talk to this guy. Hey there, how's it going? What am I doing here, you ask? Why, I'm prospecting for gold. When I strike it rich, I'm buying a house in Kanto. Yeah, so there isn't much to this specific cave at the immediate moment, but we're gonna want to remember this for later, because later on, this guy's gonna strike it rich, and this cave's gonna get a little bigger when it does. So it looks like we have some gangsters to deal with, but those are not the only ones. As we can see, the entire area seems to be overrun with gangsters. What do you have to say? Hayahoo! From this day on, this island belongs to us! Alright, what's in here? Nothing. Except for this. Rare rocks and gems are displayed. This house doesn't seem to be inhabited at the moment. Curious. What's the sign to say? Three Island. Kin Island of Family Bonding. Okay, so... Kind of a theme here. Oh my! Are you the boss? Go back to Kanto right now! Huh? I just got here, pal! What's with the hostile attitude? It's mighty cold of you. Your gang of followers have been raising havoc on their bikes. Do you have any idea how much trouble they've caused us on the island? No, man, I don't get it at all. Look at this place. What do you do for entertainment? You ought to be thanking us for livening up this sleepy village. But hey, if you insist, you can try making us leave. Uh, you cowards. So tough in a pack. You! What are you staring at? Don't you know it's not polite? You want to make something of it, or what? I absolutely do. I'm gonna run you guys out of here. Heh, <laughs> I like your guts. You'll be losing money to me, but... We'll see who'll be losing money to who. So first of all, we have Biker Goon. Not... He doesn't even have a name. He's just Biker Goon. Not particularly interesting about this fight, but, you know, it's... It, it's Pokemon. It's money. It's experience. And trust me, it will be getting... Slightly harder. What? What is this kid? Aw, oh, man. Don't you dare laugh. Aren't you from Kanto? You should be on our side. How can they tell them from Kanto? Well, in any case, another biker goon, and this biker goon also has a coughing. Oop. Should really put flamethrower at the front so that doesn't happen. Oh my god, so much you could have accomplished. But instead, you choose to use tackle of all things. Stop fooling around! Hey, you're the ones causing trouble. I'm not fooling around. I'm trying to take down a gang of mobsters. What's the matter with you getting all hot like that? Totally uncool, man. We invited the boss out here, but you had to mess it up. You embarrassed us, man. I embarrassed like two of your guys. You guys like outnumber me six to one. I remember distinctly, like, when I was doing these battles as a kid, I had the roughest time for some reason, and, like, every poison type that I encountered, I just kind of dreaded, because I was like, oh, more poison, more poison. And somehow I got to the boss, but... Here, it's not even, a, not even a challenge. Also, this guy has nothing to say to me. Boss, I'm telling you, you gotta do something about this kid! I've been watching you, and I'd say you've done enough. What are you, their friend or something? 
Then I guess you'll be battling me in their place. Alright, now we're dealing with the real cue ball here. Cue ball pack simulate the battle. Oh, 39 wheezing. Not bad. Not bad. Nothing in comparison to my seer chip. But it's still pretty good. Oh, you barely survived. But you got burned in the process. And all you end up doing is using haze of all things. To each their own, I guess. And his last Pokemon is Muck. Probably gonna eat this flamethrower a little easier than Weezing did. I'd say that's a definite pository. But also, I have flamethrower. That may be a problem. And it's not. Searcher is the best. And Rock Lee grew to level 42. Very nice. Alright, enough. We'll leave like you wanted. We'll be happy to see the last of this boring island. Hm. Yeah, go right on hanging around with these hay seeds. That's such a that's such a creative insult, these hay seeds. Thank you! Those goons were nothing but bad trouble. Oh, look, your Pokemon got hurt on my account. We got a full restore. Very nice. You've got seriously impressive Pokemon with you. I'd be it'd be fantastic if someone as strong as you lived here. I hope you'll at least stay here for a while. I beg your pardon? You're looking for Lostel? Lostel went off towards Bond Bridge a while ago. Okay, so now we have some direction as to where to go to find Lostel. Also, her name is super not subtle when it comes to trying to fear like her name's literally Lost L. Like, come on. What do you have to say, guy? Hey, did you hear the news? The PC network here can now link with PCs in Kanto. I don't know how that came about, but it's fantastic. Ah, fantastic. We are able to use the PC here. Just not on two island for some reason. All right, what do you have to say, guy? It's impossible to surf between the islands around these parts. The ties are too fast and treacherous. Good to know, good to know. Oh, hello. Let's crush berries. I'd be wasting berries? You always find some berries on the ground in Berry Forest. Another place that we'll need to keep in mind for later. Now what do we have here? This little girl. Me? I'm not Lostel. She's probably gone to the Berry Forest, I think. She picks berries there for making lunch. Good to know. I'm going to train my Doduo in the Berry Forest. When it evolves, I'm going to play a game on Two Island. Unfortunately, we will never be able to play that game ourselves. What do we have here? You must never, ever go out to the Berry Forest alone. Why? There are ghosts there. Papa keeps lying to me and won't let me go out and play. Hmm, we'll see if there's any truth to what Papa's telling you, kid. Hello? Three Islands actually the most populous of the islands here. Still, it could be less sleepy. But I wouldn't want to see goons like those bikers here again. Now there's this lady here. I bought this house because I wanted to live somewhere quiet. Today I think I'll go out fishing. Lovely. So it really seems like these people kind of moved out to kind of get away from it all, and I can respect that. Ugh! Ah! It's useless! I can't make this spoon bend with my mind! Maybe I really don't have any psychic powers. What led you to believe you had any in the first place? You know about a girl gym leader in Saffron City? She's a psychic type Pokemon, right? I admire her, I really do. I've heard that she's one cool customer and beautiful too. She certainly is, man. She certainly is. Alright, so now we find ourselves on Bond Bridge. Bond Bridge, please be quiet when crossing. Very forest ahead. Now as we progress onwards, there are some wild Pokemon that we can find, but there isn't anything new at this particular point in time. 
Looks like we have a double battle up here. I'm gonna put Searcher and Rockley in the front line and uh, see what they can do. We'll teach you what our favorite Pokemon is. All right, so Joy and Meg sent out, well, two Clefairies. Because of course, what what else would they bring out? I'm just gonna use Flamethrower on one Clefairy. And one of the things I actually like, although I don't get to use this very often, unfortunately, in this game, Rock Slide is not only a more powerful version of Rock Tomb, but in double battles, it actually hits both opponents at the same time. Although we don't get to see that, unfortunately, because someone took out Clefairy too easily. But I guess that just means we're too darn good. Oh, Metronome. Harden. Yeah, that's kind of the beauty of Metronome. You can get anything from Hyper Beam to Harden. Oh, Meg. What do you have to say? Wasn't that fun? Hope we can battle again. That would be nice. Now, if we want to go up here, we either have to cut down the tree or go around in the grass, so... Guess we're going around in the grass! Ugh. Ah, I found a Max Repel. That's ironic. My efforts to get away from wild Pokémon. Alright, let's see what you want, lady. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Uh, well, there's only one thing off in this direction, so... What do you think? Aroma Lady Violet would like to battle. We don't usually see the Aroma Ladies very often, so... It's very nice to see her sprite. Very colorful. You're raising some wonderful Pokémon. Well, thank you very much. You have three Pokémon that all should be at Venusaur by now, but that's your decision, I suppose. Now we have here another uh, thing that we don't usually see very often. It's a tuber. Yay, yay, Pokemon! And I'm not talking about a YouTuber, of course. I'm talking about a child in a tube. This is something that you see relatively often in other regions, but in the Kanta region, not really a thing. Why did I put Gullywash up front for this? All right, well, now I can beat Staryu. Uh, Staryu used Camouflage there, so now I became a Ground-type. So good job, Staryu. You made yourself weak to my attacks. Why is it doing this? Like, the other Staryu did the same thing. I don't get it. I guess it would be useful against uh, Electric-types, but still. All right, that takes care of that. The power of the cookies is no match for the power of Ratoshi and Kaiser, which is now level 42. Beautiful. What happens now? Um, you give me your money. Then I never see you again. Did I just win, or did I lose? Oh, you poor naive child. We have another tuber over here. I think I'll go ahead and bring out Raitoshi properly this time. My mommy said that I can't swim without my float ring. Well, she is right to think that. Nothing particularly interesting about this battle, just a bunch of polywags and a polywhirl. But that's fine. I have no problem stealing money from children. This year, I'm going to finally learn how to swim. Are you her mother? The salty tang of the sea tickles my heart. I don't think you are. I think you're just some crazy aroma lady. Something smells unpleasant. Well, probably all the aroma that I burned off from the flamethrower. Now then, now that we've taken care of these trainers, let's head into... Berry Forest. Now, Berry Forest probably distinctly remind you of a certain other forest, but there are things um, other than um, Viridian Forest to talk about. There are berries hidden all over this place, and as such, you want to kind of be wary of the berries. This is one of the easiest ways to get berries in the game. 
But of course, there are still the usual treacherous things that come with the forest, including wild Pokemon. Ah, not an Orenberry. Let me kind of keep my item finder handy because you never know what could be here. Ah, a pineapple berry. There's a person berry here. Go up this way. And there's an Asper Berry here. There should be another berry about right here. Now, if you look at the tiles very closely, you can actually kind of tell where the berries are supposed to be. That little line there with the two dots on top and the three in the bottom, that's where you should be finding berries, or at least on paper. You need to go south this way. And right here, there's a weeper berry. And here, there's a cherry berry. Oh my god. Alright, well, let's give Pidgeotto another shot here. And like that, we got Pidgeotto for ourselves! Pidgeotto, the bird Pokemon. The claws on its feet are well developed. It can carry prey such as Execute to its nest over 60 miles away. If you want to give a nickname to this Pidgeotto, feel free to leave a comment. Beware of wild berry-loving Pokemon. Interesting. Is there one here? Nope. Looks like that's not going to be the case today. Now, what is over here? Alright, let's see. Hello, child. Ooh. Ooh, sniff. Oh, please help. A scary Pokemon appeared there a little while ago. It kept scaring. It made Lostel scared. I'm too scared to move, but I want to go home. Oh, here it comes again. No, go away. It's scaring me. Ah, what my daddy? Okay, and a wild hypno appeared, further confirming that it does indeed hunt down children. Don't you just love that they added this to the game? And of course I got a critical hit when I didn't really want it. Alright, well, that's annoying that we couldn't catch the hypno, but that's not that big of a deal. Oh, that was scary, thank you. I still came to pick some berries. You can have this. We got the Epapa Berry. What's your name? Lassell's scared, so can I go with you to my daddy's house? Okay, let's go home. So, you rescued Lassell? How can I thank you? Lassell, darling, forgive me. Daddy didn't know you were scared and in trouble. It's okay, Daddy. I got to be friends with Griffin. Listen, listen. Please show me you being cool again. I'll try. Oh, what's that? You're saying that this is for me? How did you know that I love rare rocks and gems? You sure know how to make a guy happy. Handed the meteorite to Lostel's daddy. Oh, I see. This is from Bill. You have to thank him for me. You know, you've been fantastic. I want you to have this. We got the moonstone from Lostel's daddy. Very nice. So now it's another moonstone that we can add to our collection. And conveniently, that takes us all the way back to Two Island. Additionally, I can't tell you how grateful I am for your rescue of Lostel. Thanks to your feet, the people of Three Island have changed their attitude about Kano people. And I'm from Kano, you see. The people of Three Island helped me to add in my merchandise. Yup, now that we have saved Lostel, we now have additional items. So now we can buy an Ultra Ball and a Soda Pop, in addition to the Great Ball of Fresh Water. So already, we're seeing some progress being made at the store. And again, this is just a taste of what's to come. Now that we have completed that little side quest and we've given the man the meteorite that he wishes, I think we're going to go ahead and end this here once again. We're not done with all of our business on the three islands, but we did get the main task done. So next time on Pokemon Fire Red, we're going to go back to the one island area and see what else there is east of one island. Because trust me, there's quite a little bit to do. See you guys then.